Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're doing a really easy job. We are going to be changing out the air filter on this Emerald Plus 4000 watt on an RV generator. Uh, yours should be pretty similar. These are designed to be changed out uh, periodically, but if yours is in a hard to reach spot or it's um, hard to just get to, you can always get it done by a service professional. Um, you need to change your oil and your air filter. You can look in your manual to see when the intervals of changing are recommended. Uh, but also it's good just to do a visual inspection every once in a while to make sure everything's clean and working well. Another tip is to definitely exercise your generator. Don't let it sit for a long periods of time without actually running it. Every month or two if you can, run it for like 20, 30 minutes with a load on it. And that makes sure all the parts stay lubricated and, and working and freed up. And that's gonna make your, your generator last so much longer. The more you use it, the longer it will last, believe it or not. So make sure you exercise it as well. Um, I'm gonna change out the air filter. This is some old footage. I did this quite a while back, but I'm just gonna throw up this footage and let you check it out. And this should uh, point you in the right direction and kind of let you know what's involved. So without further ado, let's jump out there, enjoy. Hi everybody. So today we're gonna be changing the air filter on this Emerald Plus Onan 4000 watt generator. And basically it's a very simple process. Uh, this is not a hard job to do. So we're gonna dive right into it and uh, go from there. So in this case, our air filter is on the right top hand side. And if you're lucky, it's gonna have the part number of the air filter that you're supposed to replace it with. In this case, it's a 140-2379 filter. However, after a lot of looking around, I was unable to find one that was Onan brand. However, this gold Napa filter with the part number 2362 is an exact match. So that's what we're gonna be using today. Typically, you're just gonna have one bowl right here, and this is a 7 16 socket. I'm gonna use the camera so I can see what's going on there. And we're just gonna loosen that a bit. And then it's probably loose enough to just go ahead and take out with our fingers. There we go, you're gonna remove this long bolt. With that off, you should be able to just kind of move your air filter cover off, like so, and then it's gonna reveal your air filter. And so what we're gonna do here is pull our old air filter out and give it an inspection here. Not horrible, but probably time to replace it anyway, so we're going to. And uh, then we're going to open up our new air filter box. We just kind of set that there for a second. And we're going to open this up. Pull out our brand new air filter. And we're going to compare the two. So you can see it's probably about time for a change there. And I would recommend taking a rag and just kind of getting some of the dirt and debris out of this housing box because it's pretty dirty in there and we don't want all of that just immediately going right into our new filter. So just kind of take a dry rag and get in there and get out some of the dirt and debris. Make sure there's no big chunks in there or anything. Just get what you can. Wipe it out a little bit, give it an inspection. Make sure there's no clogs or anything like that. Make sure our little winterized filter is functioning properly closing and opening for winter and uh, summer operation. And we look pretty good. And so then what we're gonna do is simply put our new air filter right into place. And it's gonna kind of snug in there. It's gonna suddenly slip over those little plastic clips and it's gonna be really solid in there, really secure. And that's really all there is to it. Now we just kind of want to line it up. We want to make sure that it slips back over our cover the way it should. And then we're gonna replace our bolt. And if we have everything lined up the way it should, this should just go right back in and thread fairly easy for us. So we're gonna put that in and yep, it lined right up and it's going in. And get that as tight as we can with our fingers. Then we're gonna take our wrench, our socket rather, we're going to tighten that up. You don't have to go crazy with the tightening. Just get it nice and snug and maybe give it another quarter turn there. 
Yeah, I think that's pretty good. We don't want to strip anything and uh, we're in good shape now. And that's all there is to it. Well, there you go. Very easy job. If it's accessible to you, it should point you in the right direction. Um, I'll try to put like a Amazon affiliate link down below that takes you to a page uh, with maybe this air filter or other air filters for RV generators that might point you in the right direction. If I can, that'll be in the description down below. If you like this video, if it helped you out, please like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you actually get notified when I make new videos. That really helps me out. So my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club, and until the next video, thank you so much for watching, and happy camping.